bitches on Gucci, man. You heard that I go coco loco. So much money that my pit boy got a diamond choker. I'm on the yacht, me and my plug, and yeah, we playing poker. Sipping a lot of smoking ganja. Hello, my loves. And yes, welcome back to another foodie beauty married a scammer. Jamie Rose. As some of you may have noticed, Jamie Rose was first mentioned by Salah in Foodie Beauty's chat. Jamie Rose will be a new character in our Pay Pig playoff until I can cross her off of our already growing list. So please give a warm welcome to our new player, Jamie Rose. Jamie Rose is the owner of Rose Matchmaking, started in 2013 and based in Houston, Texas. At Rose Matchmaking, Jamie offers her clients a chance to find the one or the love of their life. Jamie has over 10 years of experience and started her career working as a matchmaker at a company that closed due to a class action lawsuit. The owner of this company offered Jamie an opportunity to purchase their database of clients that the previous company owned, according to her appearance, on the Roommates podcast in 2018. Jamie also appears to be married to a man I will refer to as Mr. A with no children. Okay, I am here with Jamie Rose, uh, Rose Matchmaking That's right. from rosematchmaking.com. Mm -hmm. Excited to interview with her because the leading matchmaker for the greater area of Houston. When you work with women, they, they give you checklists basically yeah. of what they're looking for, um, but have you noticed any difference as far as what men look for and what women look for in a in a heterosexual dating? I would say when someone comes to a matchmaker, they've kind of they've already gone through everything. They've exhausted all of their other avenues. Mm -hmm. And most of the clients that I meet with, Renee does a really good job at pre-screening them out. Mm -hmm. So these are people that say, I'm here, I'm ready to do this. I know I want to meet the right person. And I typically start my meeting with past, what they did in past relationships, what they're doing for dating now, and then future, what they want for their future. Um, I would say this is very common. You know, my clients come in and of course they want all of those mundane things like I want someone who's honest and loyal those are all given That's and these are these are the women that are specific everyone, or everyone okay. everyone whether they're male or female most people aren't brave enough to do that married at first sight but our first guest have some other options from good old-fashioned high-end matchmaking to the latest app where swiping is just rude Jamie Rose <laughs> is with Rose matchmaking and Stacy latest is the psychologist behind one of the latest dating apps based in Houston called new mate good morning, good morning. Good morning. Um, it, it's, it's so crazy because one thing has never changed. It seems like after you get out of high school, if you don't go on to college, what do you do next? You got to get married. Mm -hmm. If you go to college, what do you do right after you graduate? <laughs> Find that person and get married. Um, do you think the pressure today is not so much on people to get married right after high school and college? I think it's changed a little bit, um, but with society today, everyone wants that instant gratification and they want things now, but I feel like people should take their time and get to know each other, but it's changed a little bit. At first glance, we see Jamie Rose is very well connected with connections like Teresa Giudici and Chloe Dow, who both appear on her matchmaking website. She also makes several appearances on Houston's local television service advertising her business as a matchmaker. However, Houston's favorite matchmaker has lower standards than her celebrity friends. Our first glimpse into Jamie Rose came from Salah himself on March 6, 2023. Salah shouts Jamie out and drops her channel. Jamie also mentions in that chat that she plans on doing reaction style videos. She appears to have no content, but plenty of information pointing towards her matchmaking service. Why go from making thousands as a matchmaker to making reaction style content? Most social media links shared on her page have not been updated since December 27th of 2020. Aside from the first Facebook link, which is facebook.com slash Rose Matchmaking, this was in the midst of the Panini Sandwich, which started earlier that year in February. Before 2020, Jamie ran into some trouble with a client who took her to small claims court for the total of 8,000 US dollars. This case was filed in Harris County Justice Courts, Harris County Justice of the Peace for Precinct 5, Place 1 located in Harris, Texas. The first motion in this case was filed April 12th of 2018. 
The case was then dismissed on September 7th of 2018 with an order dismiss without prejudice on non-suant or plaintiff's motion. It is also worth noting that Jamie Rose never showed up for the court case. Since then, in 2018, Jamie was still active on her social media for Rose matchmaking, but it seems that her clients continued to grow more and more unhappy with her services. Not only has she managed to score a solid 2.0 stars on Yelp reviews, but Angie's list looks even worse with three one-star reviews and one five-star review that states they haven't completed any dates yet. Buckle up, boys, while I read some of these one-star reviews. I hired Rose Matchmaking based on a referral from someone who had used her years ago. Unfortunately, she is no longer the same business person that she was back then. I hired her in January 2019, and by March, when she had not once contacted me in a timely fashion, I had to ask for a refund. She never performed the services listed in the contract and gave many excuses. I have an inner ear infection, I should have never left the country, I always get sick when I leave the country, etc. Additionally, she gave out my number to someone that I had never agreed to. I am very disappointed that I cannot refer Rose Matchmaking due to the extremely unprofessional way that their business is handled. Additionally, I will be seeking legal remedies to recoup my investment made with them to date. Guys, be careful with this company. Anyone need to know about this company, contact me. I will let you know about them. I am a VIP client of them, and I usually never leave a bad review for any company. But after two years being with them, I just want to make sure no one else falls for this. Okay, this one is the longest review, but I feel like it's something that I need to read to you guys. Me Rose and her staff will disappear shortly after she receives her money. She is extremely unprofessional, will not even show up to a scheduled meeting, sends random drunk texts, disorganized, won't reply to emails. Her excuse her excuses range from my Maserati broke down in the middle of the freeway, my cell phone was dead, new cell, none of my contacts moved over, lost your contact information, appointment was confirmed yesterday but I have a dental appointment now, I am trying to hire new, more professional staff, it's their fault this is happening, I'm out personally recruiting just for you tonight, staff said not true, in quotations, I'm really upset about my recently ended engagement and I'm taking a few weeks off. In summary, you will not be interacting with someone at the same level of you and your colleagues. You will be disappointed in the lower standards of business etiquette and delivery. Frustration will ensue quickly. In the sales pitch from her and Jorge Ochoa, they had several potential matches, and I would be on multiple dates within 30 days. Yet, I have not been matched once in over a year. She completely stopped sending me matches after just a few months. Her guarantee is that if you purchase a package for X amount of time, but don't get the guaranteed number of dates, she will continue to match you until your date minimum is met. This is a lie. Also note, the majority of her male clients are over 50 years old and prefer women under 35. After my initial meeting, I expressed my concerns about being matched with the male profiles she showed me. Yet they called consistently days after and used the sales tactic of, well, if you don't decide by tomorrow, we are going to give your space to another female candidate and we don't know when we will be accepting new female clients again. Please don't be weak like me and give in. Say you just met someone, or better yet, got engaged last night, or she won't stop calling you. It is also fraudulent sales behavior to claim to have an 88% success rate. Clearly, this is not accurate and is not accounting for everyone they accept funds from. I understand that being in the people matching business is not an easy one, but don't take money from clients that you know can match, deceit them, lie to them, and never answer an email or phone call. You may see the occasional positive review, but take notice there are very few and listed along with reviews from her photographer, father, and close friends. Note that in all of the bad reviews, her response is, 
This is a fake profile. No client by name, please remove. These victims don't want to post their real name because either one, they still have a sliver of hope that she will deliver some service after spending so much money, or two, they might feel ashamed for using a matchmaker because they are private people, hence why professionals pick a service and don't want to online date. Her service fees range from 5k to 50k depending on how much she thinks she can steal from you. You provide your net income on her entry form. Most dissatisfied clients will just write it off as a bad mistake and won't come after her legally because it just won't be worth their time or personal embarrassment. Jamie has built her business banking on just that. You will be too busy or private slash embarrassed to sue or publicly post a review. It took me some courage to publicly post this, but I felt obligated so others would not be taken advantage of. I am pleased that so many people have reached out to me. Some have even apologized for not posting before my experience. Please do not trust Jamie even when she claims to be endorsed by Channel 2 or other large brands. Jamie, I will rewrite my review once you provide me anything you promised and that is clearly stated in your contract. Or here's a suggestion to update your contract to hedge this review. If you can't match a client for at least one date, give them a refund and ask yourself how much would you owe to date? I bet at least 250k. I am sure this service works for some people, but it didn't work for me. I paid 8k to have one date and then got slow played long enough to just give up on this service. A lot of promises were made from them and nothing was delivered. I have to go to the small claims route to get my money back and hopefully more people will come out of the woodworks to try to shut this service down. Complete and utter sham, waste of time, certainly waste of thousands of dollars, does not have the caliber of clientele. Once she gets your money, you are screwed. Lacking in communication, follow through. Do not fall for this. The provider charges an ultra premium price and does not deliver what is promised. I would strongly advise people not to use this service and to seek other alternatives. The service is not timely with matches, makes promises that they do not deliver on, and generally forces you to do work you are paying them to do. I spent more time following up and managing the service than I spent dating. Further, the majority of the matches were older than the range I defined and frequently did not meet the lifestyle, physical education, or religious constraints they requested and I provided. I have visited with the owner and scheduled repeat meetings to discuss my concerns and frustrations. Unfortunately, that was a waste of my time as it did not lead to a resolution. The service does not pay attention to the characteristics you seek in a mate as defined in the interviews and surveys. Again, I cannot recommend this service and would recommend extreme caution when approaching this provider as booking new clients seems to be a priority over matching clients. So what is the connection to Foodie Beauty? Why would Salah shout out Jamie Rose and promote her matchmaking service? What is the benefit to Salah promoting this nobody VIB in Chantal's chat? With speculation surrounding how Chantal and Salah and how the story has changed so much over time, is it possible that this matchmaker is the connection in their marriage? In this screenshot, you can see the chat made from Salah and Chantel. It was that profile that shouted out Jamie, and you can see the URL, as well as Salah saying, this is Jamie Rose's channel again, make sure to sub to her guys. What if I also told you that we have pulled all of Aisha's chat data and reviewed it for clues on how she is also connected to Jamie Rose? What we have found so far is that Aisha places herself in Texas and refers to herself as Cherokee. Jamie Rose is from Houston and is also Cherokee. They both have young children and a mysterious husband from the Middle East. According to Mr. A's profile, he speaks Farsi, which is a language spoken in Iran. However, after reviewing Jamie Rose's chats, we discovered she refers to her husband, aka Mr. A, as Afghani. Does this mean that he instead speaks Dari instead of Farsi? What we know now is that both of these accounts share similar personal details. I have been followed to my other accounts, seemingly through the link tree I use under each video description, 
and on my YouTube banner. My Reddit was banned after confronting an account that claimed to be Aisha when commenting on the Foodie Beauty subreddit under my SW account. Beautiful Bet 8 took the time to find my account and what I post slash comment on in order to tell me that the information about Aisha I was given is incorrect. And this user is claiming to be friends with the real Aisha. I have also received countless comments from what I assume is the same user on YouTube with the username Willow P. Winter. No one has ever followed me around the internet to tell me that I was so wrong about Aisha. It actually piqued my interest more because this person wants me to shut up about it, obviously. I sent this user on Reddit a Grabify link claiming that Aisha's noodles were in it. I was hoping that they would be curious enough to click on the link, but unfortunately I never received any result. This information tells me that the person on the other end is aware of Grabify links and how they work. Someone who possibly is tech savvy and knows a little bit more than the average Reddit user. So who in this twisted web is the internet genius? Let me tell you more about Mr. A's resume. Mr. A, who is married to Jamie Rose, has been employed at Blue Tech Designs for 11 years as a developer. His current projects include expanding development on an e-commerce platform, OpenCart, and Magneto OS. Before this, he was employed as a PHP developer and has additional experience in other positions in the software development and engineering areas. Mr. A has experience hiring office workers offshore in India. If he is employed at Blue Tech Design, why is he hiring offshore workers? Was this for Jamie's matchmaker service or Mr. A's failed businesses? As you can see, Binary Bits was dissolved due to tax issues. And Mr. A currently also operates several businesses called Toro One Marketing and VTIT Wear. At this point, I have no proof who is behind this account, but if someone doesn't want us looking at Salah, Chantel, or Jamie Rose, then I would assume it would be Mr. A. Mr. A appears to be the link who's trying to intimidate me and make me shut up. But I won't shut up, you'll just have to learn how to tune me out.